Hello. Uh, for quite a long time, I've been asked to do a sort of a inventory check uh, on my drone equipment that I've been using uh, over the past few years on this channel. So uh, someone asked actually what equipment I use, what type of drone I use. So as you can see here, no surprises, it's uh, DJI's Mavic uh, Pro 2. So I've been a fan of the Mavic series of drones for uh, as long as they've been on the market. I've owned the uh, Mavic uh, 1 when it came out and it was a, a great drone for its, for its time. And um, the one and only complaint I ever had about the Mavic 1 was the fact the gimbal was far too small to uh, do any proper filtering work with it. However, the Mavic... Pro 2 has a really nice gimbal and it's of course the very very nice Hasselblad camera which I have converted my uh, to work as a multi-spectral camera so this model here is equipped with a hot mirror filter uh, so the original uh, the actual in-camera hot mirror filter I had uh, removed so yeah the hot mirror filter uh, that's in the camera itself the factory model and um, I had removed and to make it multi-spectral and I had then purchased a Colari Vision hot mirror filter to convert it back to um, the normal um, RGB uh, channels. However, the whole point of removing the hot mirror filter in the first place was to test out my own series of filters. So I have my ultraviolet filter, which I have been testing quite extensively over the past few weeks and hope to upload a video very soon of the first tests that I've done with the UV uh, filter. So that giving a whole different perspective of the world from the air in the ultraviolet and hopefully trying to develop some interesting science uh, applications as well, some remote sensing applications for that. Thinking in the field of remote sensing of plants and also certain animals as well uh, and of course I have the original this is the infrared filter which looks quite similar but as you can see from past videos <coughs> I've been uh, very impressed with this actually this was designed by me and manufactured uh, in a f plant in in China, but <clears throat> the the actual glass glassware was manufactured, but I had to assemble it in my own custom assembly, uh, and I've been very impressed with that over over the past uh, probably since July two thousand and nineteen. I've been using that extensively to do uh, NDVI uh, uh, research and creating drone maps using uh, Pix4D and also uh, um, my own uh, kind of mock-ups using uh, uh, CMVS and uh, Python coding to make and QGIS um, uh, to make my own uh, NDVI drone maps with uh, using um, essentially near near infrared uh, orthomosaic uh, images so the whole apparatus then I have my basically lithium ion explosion proof airport friendly backpack that I've been able to carry with me uh, to several different countries without being too hassled at the airport and um, so the fact it's uh, lipo battery safe is always a plus uh, and I have three lipo battery so I have two in the backpack here fully charged and my controller of course which fits nicely nice and snug in here 
and some space for propellers. The one thing that I've always found is, is always when you're going through an airport, take the propellers off the damn drone because the one thing that really makes airport security skittish is when they, when you come through the airport, even with the thing in a backpack and unloading the thing with big propellers swinging out of it. I mean, they they know what it is, but for some reason, um, I've got, always gotten more hassle with the drone when it's had propellers uh, plugged into it than than uh, when they're just out by itself. Makes sense. I mean, they're probably afraid that you know you know that I'm going to take the thing off uh, you know deploy it actually in the airport or something but you know it's uh traveling through airport security is not one of my favorite things to do and in the current current coronavirus age it's an utter you know nightmare <laughs> and along with my homemade filters I have some very nice Kalari Vision filters. Kalari Vision is a really good company. Uh, they're one of the only filters, uh, filter manufacturers that will ma make custom made filters for you to order. So they're a nice one that they've sold on the market for several years that works with the uh, Mavic Pro 2 and the, the um, especially very nicely with the, the Hasselblad or the IR Chrome series of filters. However, I was able to get them by asking very nicely and uh, paying, of, paying of course, and uh, to get some very excellent help, collaboration uh, in making some nice uh, custom filters. So we have the blue IR filter that they sell and they were able to package it very nice for me. But more interesting, they have some nice um, uh, color uh, band switching filters so they have um, uh, e BGN uh, uh, infrared filters as well so they have some very very nice uh, uh, essentially near infrared filters but with the color bands in the opposite uh, direction so it's uh, very very nice and gives gives if any if nothing else very interesting visuals visuals I mean that these have some like, really went to town over the summer uh, ordering uh, filters for them for this research uh, that I'm doing here in the Canary Islands of all places but I'm really hoping to make tons of videos with these things I mean the craftsmanship is excellent uh, for for uh, uh, the, the price as well uh, for the um, it's again the only company um, currently that makes these things I mean I've been able to make my own ones uh, my own uh, craft filters if you like uh, but these guys really know what they're doing and they don't, don't only mess around with drones they do it with um, DSLR uh, cameras as well, Sony, Nikon, uh, whatever whatever camera you prefer to use. And of course, they also do very nice uh, UV filters. In fact, the filter that they made for me is pretty much, I think, uh, uh, one of a kind. I mean, um, they don't even sell sell this uh, uh, to, to people at the moment. But for my work, I needed uh, a comparison one for uh, my own uh, for my own uh, filter and I really wanted to see how their one uh, works out and so far so good it's working very nicely so that's essentially I have one drone that's charging at the moment so over here with some lasers <laughs> So yeah, that's my uh, collection of uh, in the nice Europe, uh, European plug socket. It's the one thing living in living in Ireland, like the same as the UK. Um, it's always good to have tons and tons of adapters when you're when you're doing doing research abroad. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much a 
it's as uh, concise as I can get, run down at the moment of my stuff, and of course, more filters. <laughs> I mean, I've just gone, over the past two years, I've just gone absolutely insane with the amount of filters that I've bought for this thing. I mean, it's, after all, this is not just a flying camera, it's a flying camera with a one inch sensor and 20 megapixels so we can do some pretty damn good stuff and I mean companies have been trying to emulate the DJI Mavic and it's uh, error and how aerodynamic it is but I mean this thing just films beautifully like I mean there's there's nothing else like it on the market yet until DJI probably come out with Mavic Pro 3 at some point in the future but Hopefully not too soon because I've spent eh, a fair amount of money on filters, so I don't want to be totally outmoded. However, if DJI are, are, are listening, please, please, if you bring out the uh, Osmo uh, 2, be, 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 a, be a very kind and make sure that it's a Hasselblad camera so that I can get some more mileage out of these filters. <laughs> Just a suggestion. But, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and this is probably one of the few videos in which I'll be speaking in person. I tried to keep as anonymous as I can but uh, yeah I felt I wanted to do this for a while so thanks for listening to my ramblings and stay safe and have a nice day.